Good morning. Welcome to our parish and school family here in the church and at home and in our school. As we celebrate this liturgy for Tuesday of the second week in Ordinary Time, our Mass intention for today is for the repose of the soul of Pasquale Di Martino. Our celebrant is Father Eric. Please stand. May we find richness in the harvest of justice, which Christ Jesus has ripened for us, bread for the journey, bread for the hungry, all for the glory and praise of God. Good morning. We gather together this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Gathered as God's family, we now celebrate his sacred mysteries by asking for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our, in our times. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the Holy Ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end so that you may not become sluggish but imitators of those who through faith and patience are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now, men swear by someone greater than themselves, for them an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath, so that by two immutable things, in which it was possible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged. We who have taken refuge might be even more encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. 
The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of the grain. At this the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry? When he went into the house of God where, where Athar was, when Hathar was high priest, and ate the bread offering only by the priest could lawfully eat, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is even Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. At the time of Jesus and the scribes and Pharisees who ruled the people and the ruler, ruled the religion, there was an animosity because Jesus spoke of things that he, they thought he did not know about because he wasn't a scholar of the law. He was just a liver of the law and did the law not because it was law, but because there was a spirit behind it. Today was such the case as well. The Pharisees wanted the Lord to be in all and for all, and to live the letter of the law. But he did, but he, did, he also understood the spirit of the law. The spirit of the law was, was very simple, to make the Sabbath a day of rest. As the Lord rested from his, seven, his days of creation, the seventh day called Sunday was the Sabbath day. To take a step back from your week, to take a step back and look at your life, to take a step back and enjoy what God had given to you, the good things he created for you, what he did for you, and how we're supposed to react. The disciples were living the day. They were hungry. They were eating the corn or the wheat. It doesn't matter. But what, it, what matters is that they were fulfilling what they were doing, walking through a field on the Sabbath. And then David, when he would eat the bread, because prescribed for everybody else, for the, for the priests, it was because of necessity, because of need, because of what he needed to do for his people. Well, Jesus did that for us. He superseded the law many times and helped us understand what is the spirit of the law, not what, not what is the letter of the law. The letter of the law is easy to be beside. It's black and white. But sometimes there's a gray area where we have to understand that the spirit of the law is the power of Christ coming to us and leading us to the kingdom of heaven. He led his disciples, and his disciples followed him, and they began to see what he was all about, what he was, what he was telling all the people, what he was before all. And so today, as we celebrate the gift of the Lord to us, we ask the Lord to make, give us a day of rest. Give us a day where we can just step back, retreat, if you will, from this world, 
and understand that he made everything for us and gave us time to relax and understand that his law is the letter is the spirit of the law not the letter of the law and in that spirit we grow and in our power we grow in our christianity but most of all we grow to understand that we get closer to christ day by day Please stand. Attend to the needs of humanity, we offer these our prayers. That God's people may treasure mercy over sacrifice, we pray. That those isolated by unjust laws and restrictions may receive restoration, we pray. That the sick may find rest and comfort, we pray. And for Pasquale Di Martino, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. That the dead may find welcome in the eternal Sabbath, we pray. And for our own personal petitions. We pray. Lord of the Sabbath, you desire, you desire mercy rather than sacrifice. With compassion above all, we ask you to answer these prayers we make through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands are made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also you bid him with great gladness you formed it and formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, in your glory in the highest. It is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, bury our bishop and all the clergy and people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her blessed husband, with the blessed apostles, great King David, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be coheres through eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now give praise to our God in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And now we pray to say the prayer of St. Alvonsus about spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Pour out, O oh Lord, the spirit of your love in, in your kindness, and make those who have nourished with the one heavenly bread and, bread and body, one in mind and in heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Leave them your riches and you will.